In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to make your own homemade MRE for your bug out bag. Stick around, it's going to be a good video. So when you're building your bug out bag, sometimes an often overlooked item is nutrition and food. Um, most people, when they're starting this process, will immediately go out and buy MREs and put those in their pack, um, which, you know, MREs are great. They, they really do serve a great purpose, um, but there's, there's a few things that are wrong with them. And one of them is that they are heavy um, and also, uh, they are very expensive. So what I wanted to do today is, is put together a video and show you some just store-bought items that you can go out and grab and then throw into a pack and create your own MRE for your bug out bag or your survival kit. Um, because it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but it has to be something that you want to eat. Um, and if you're on a budget, like most of us are these days, doing something like this um, is a great option. Um, so we're going to walk through how I'm going to put one together, because I haven't done this yet. I want to do it with you uh, while you're watching. And then I'll show you a couple different options that maybe you haven't considered that could um, maybe spice up that kit a little bit. Um, and then um, put it all into a a nice container, a bag that you can put in your backpack and you can you can strike out and do what you need to do. So these are some of the items that I found today when I hit my local grocery store. I was able to go to one place, get all these things, they were all there. Um, and I think um, with what is shown here, uh, it was like around $26, um, which isn't bad for all this stuff. Now, food prices are up, of course, right now. Um, and I'm not going to put prices on all these things for you because, of course, depending on where you live, um, prices are going to be different. And there may be other stores you can go to. Of course, you know, we always have things like Aldi and, you know, Food Saver and, and Village Pantries and all these different kinds of smaller stores in your community that may be less expensive than the big box stores like Kroger. All right, so here is some of the food we found. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to separate this into categories and kind of determine how much I'm going to need for each category and then we'll go from there. So our first category is going to be breakfast. Um, you know, oatmeal packets, of course, are very inexpensive, um, easily found. Uh, they're easy to make in the field, add hot water. Um, with the Quaker Oats packaging, you can actually add hot water to the package and eat right out of the package so you don't have to dirty a pot. Um, I'm not sure about these. I haven't tried these yet in the field, but uh, these are apple cinnamon flavors. So for me, I would probably eat two of those for breakfast. And then I'm going to add to my breakfast. I'm also going to add a packet of apple butter that I can throw in with it. Uh, these little packets you can always find, you know, at your local diner or restaurants. I always grab a few if there's something that looks interesting to me. I haven't seen apple butter very often, so I grab one of those. Next thing for breakfast, of course, coffee. Uh, the Nescafe 3-in-1s are fantastic because they have the cream and sugar already built into them. Um, but I also always like to have um, an extra coffee packet, so I always grab an instant Folgers. And um, if this is not strong enough um, and I need more of a kick, I can add this to it. So that's going to be part of my breakfast. Next item is I want some protein. So I found this bag of Chomps um, beef sticks and they are all individually wrapped. Um, and they're not overly big, which is really nice. So I'll add one of those. And there is my breakfast. That's going to get me started. So we have that covered. Then you're going to want some kind of snack, something that you're going to eat while you're moving. 
Um, of course, a snack bar or a protein bar, energy bar, whatever you want to call them, whatever you'd like to choose um, is a good option to have. I like these Cliff Duos because they're smaller, they're not huge, um, but uh, you know they do have uh, some good energy to them. They fill you up and they have a really good flavor. This is the um, chocolate brownie and crunchy peanut butter, probably my two favorite flavors for um, Cliff Bars, but we'll add that. That's going to be our, our mid-morning snack. So for lunch, we have a few different options that I want to show you. Um, it depends on really how heavy a meal you want midday. So if you're going for a lighter meal, um, these uh, cup of soup packets are fantastic. Um, they're not overly uh, heavy um, or huge. Um, it's basically just some dried noodles with some uh, chicken stock and then uh, you add your hot water to it. But what's fantastic about these is if you pair that with a, um, a Starkist tuna packet, or even the bumblebee, because they came out with the, with their own tuna packets as well, you can really make a nice um, hearty lunch. But if you want a little bit more, there is of course other options. Um, one thing uh, I think everybody is familiar with is some type of ramen noodle. Uh, these take up a little bit more room, um, of course, but you're, they're more filling because there's uh, more uh, carbs, more pasta in these things, and then. Um, of course, adding tuna or chicken, um, and there's even some other options that I can show you. Then, of course, you can add other things to that soup. So, you know, we've got our tuna, um, we've got chicken. This is the Starkist chicken, buffalo style. There um, are these pulled barbecue pork packets you can get at Walmart and the Great Value brand. They're very good, um, adding a nice flavor to soups. And then, of course, our good old reliable Spam Single. If you can find these in, these, in the store, they are a fantastic uh, addition to that soup packet or to your ramen. Now, this is a new thing that I found. I haven't seen these before, but the, if you don't want to go with the, the whole um, dried soup mix, this rice and beans with tuna packets are, are available now. These are from Starkist. And um, it seems like it would be a really great option for a light, quick lunch. Um, you could even take a tortilla and shrink wrap that, um, like in a sealer meal, put that in your MRE, and then you pair that with this rice and, and beans and, and tuna, and it'd be a really good meal. Mm -hmm. And this has a shelf date best used by, um, looks like January of 2026. So, that is fantastic for making your MRE meal. So that could be our lunch. Then, um, of course, you're going to want some drink mixes. And if you're getting powdered drink mixes, I highly recommend the liquid IVs. They are a hydration multiplier. They are a little bit better than Gatorades um, and certainly better than just flavor packets. So get a box of those and then split that up into your MRE. So we'll, we'll put one of those in there. Actually, I think we'll put two so we can have one for midday and maybe one with our dinner in case we're really exerting ourselves. A couple more snacks we're gonna add to it. We're gonna add a cliff shot. Uh, these are primarily used by runners and um, triathletes. So for best results, they say one packet uh, 15 minutes before activity or one packet during activity. Um, but these are going to have a lot of energy in them um, to keep you going. And then comfort snacks. There's nothing wrong with having some chocolate. Peanut M&Ms is great because, of course, it's got the protein in it. So that's our, pretty much our day. And now we're going to get into dinner. And one thing that I have found that really is hard to beat um, for a dinner is something like this. This is the Hormel Complete. They're very inexpensive. Of course, you do have to heat them um, in your pot uh, with your cook set, but if you don't, if you can't, you can eat right out of this package and eat it cold. Now, this is roast beef or beef pot roast. So this has um, beef, potatoes, carrots, and a savory brown sauce. These are actually really good and they, they heat up very easily. Um, of course, you can take this packaging off if you don't want it, and then you just have this. Um, it's a little bulky, um, 
but uh, the cost savings compared to a dehydrated meal, these are fantastic. So, and it's something you can find in the store very easily. And then for dessert, um, here's a little um, piece of chocolate. This is um, milk chocolate with whole hazelnuts. Uh, just, you know, what uh, these little individual chocolates, you can find these in, in all your stores, your convenience stores, your grocery stores. So buy a bag and then kind of divvy them up between your MRE. So this is going to be uh, my complete day for 24 hours. So now let's get this thing into a package and see um, how much space this actually takes. All right, so I'm using a food saver. Um, I've had this for a while, but it's been in storage since I moved um, to the new house. And so I pulled it out and we're gonna try it today. Um, so I need to re-familiarize myself with the instructions. But the so that's sealed the end, and then we're going to pull out what we think we need. And I think that should be probably right there. I think that'll be plenty. So we'll close right. it. So let's start filling this up. These are our, probably our bulkiest items. I think once you start doing a few of these, you'll get a feel for how much uh, bag you're actually gonna need. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, never underestimate um, a little pick-me-up at night. So this is, which one did I get? This is the Dr. McGillicuddy's Irish Whiskey with natural flavors. I have no idea, I've never tried this, but we'll see, you know, you gotta have snake bite remedy. And um, so there it is. And we got our hydration supplement. Got a couple wet naps for cleanup. We've got our apple butter to add to our oatmeal. We've got a snack bar. We've got a meat stick. And I think I'll throw in another meat stick for the heck of it. And bonus item. Always throw in some condiment packets like hot sauce. I love hot sauce. I love spicy food. So that's gonna kick up my, my lunch a little bit. And then of course, coffee, super important, for me at least, and then chocolate. So there is all our stuff. Now we gotta seal it. Look how thin that is and compact. So here is another option that I put together for a meal. And I wanted to show you this because these are now available at Walmart. These are from Nutrient Survival. Um, I've been testing these and using them on different trips and just trying them out here and there when I can. And they're really nice because um, they're all in a nice small contained package. Uh, you just add hot water. They have easy to follow instructions. And what's great about these is they have um, a very good nutritional value compared to a lot of the other meals. And I think these are a little bit more, of course, expensive than what you're going to be paying for, you know, like a ramen meal. Um, but I got these at Walmart. And then all you can go to their website and order stuff from them as well. So. Um, I've got my three main meals using Nutrient Survival. So I've got my breakfast is going to be their powdered egg blend. And then I'm going to add some Spam to that. Uh, for lunch, we're going to do triple mac and cheese. 
And for dinner, we're gonna have the Southwestern medley, and then I'm gonna add um, some buffalo style chicken to it. And then, of course, for my supplements for um, hydration, we'll do the uh, liquid IVs again. Uh, always a fantastic option. Snacks. Um, found this uh, like little package of trail mix with cranberry nut. Of course, the cliff shots again for quick energy. Cliff bar duos. Um, a couple beef sticks, um, you, whatever brand you want to use. I had these on hand, so we'll throw those in there. Um, of course, the hot sauce packets, always like a variety of different types of hot sauce to add to my meals. Uh, the wet nap, of course. And then for a coffee option, uh, for another type of three-in-one coffee, these Copicos, you can get these on Amazon. They have the cream and sugar right in them. Uh, they're very good, a little sweet, um, but they're, they're fantastic and they're so convenient and they taste great. So we'll throw a couple of those in there. So we've got, this is gonna be um, our next meal we're gonna put together. So pretty decent experiment. Um, I think this bag, I needed to go a little bit bag, bigger on the bag because it didn't really vacuum out everything. Um, so I think having a little extra bag is probably best when you do these. Um, so I'm gonna probably redo this one, um, but um, it's still a fantastic package to throw in your bug out bag. I mean, so much better than an MRE. Uh, you know, one thing you need to, to remember though, um, when comparing these to an MRE, an MRE um, is great because it's so self-contained and it has the heater pack in it. Um, so you don't need a stove to heat anything. But I will tell you that the heater packs do fail, um, especially as they get older. Um, if you don't do the water mix right, they don't work properly. And then you're stuck with food that um, is not that great and it's cold. Um, so, you know, in my bug out bag, and I think most people who are putting together a bug out bag, you're going to have some kind of cook pot or metal container for boiling water, and you're gonna have a stove of some sort, either an, um, an alcohol stove or an espit, or maybe even a canister stove. So boiling up water to cook uh, the mac and cheese or the ramen or whatever, or reheat, heat, reheating this, um, this uh, Hormel meal, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and it's gonna be a lot better than, than MRE ever would be. Um, thanks so much for watching the channel. Um, please check out the affiliate links down below. I'll have links down to Nutrient Survival if you're interested in their food options, or you can go to Walmart and pick them up. Uh, some of the Walmarts are carrying these now. Um, also check out the Facebook group. It's getting huge. Just, I, I can't remember how many members. I think it's over 8,000 something. Um, so check out Facebook group. A uh, lot of activity on there. A lot of people posting great content, um, learning from others. And then check out preparedwanderer.com. I'm always adding articles to that, and of course there's links to the video, and then uh, also links to the Prepared Wanderer store if you're interested in getting a Prepared Wanderer patch. So hopefully this helped you guys and gave you some, some ideas. Um, get outside, try this stuff. Um, as always, be prepared, and we'll see you next time on the Prepared Wanderer.